Hi all, recently while exploring the various aspects of generative AI working with various tools and libraries, I came across a very interesting library in Python. This library is built as a wrapper on top of our very own exploratory data analysis library which is Pandas. You all must have used and are familiar with Pandas and how Pandas solve our day-to-day -day data analysis tasks. Pandas AI is a library that is built on top of Pandas in order to introduce generative AI capabilities with the Pandas library. Gabriel Venturi is the man behind the development of Pandas AI. He's an interesting person. You can go ahead and connect with him, uh, read more about him, find out about his work. In this particular video, we are going to talk about Pandas AI, smart, what is Smart Data Frame and how you can go around, play with Pandas AI in order to utilize the textual capabilities. You can just pass your textual input and Pandas AI will solve the data analysis task for you and return the result. Let us see how that works. So heading over to the documentation, you will find that you can install Pandas AI using pip. A very easy and very simple to install. It is an open source library. So anyone can use it easily with Python. Okay. Once you install this library, there are multiple options, right? This, this works very simple, right? This library is very simple to use. If you just go through this documentation, I'll attach the link in the description. You'll find out that you can very easily apply this library. Okay. And remember, this library is not a replacement to Pandas. It is just an enhancement with generative capabilities on top of Pandas. Okay. So some of the additional capabilities that this Pandas AI library provides are the add-ons. The add-ons, say for example, you want to utilize this generative AI capability with the Excel files or the Polar Stata Frame or LangChain, NumPy, Seaborn, ggplot. So you can go ahead and install pip install pandas ai and the extra dependency name so it will take care of all the dependencies there okay this is just what i wanted to show here now next we will see a very basic program and how pandas ai works let us head over to this sample code here uh, let me zoom the screen a bit to help you see things clearly okay hope this is clear now so you see we are importing pandas here and we are importing pandas ai and smart data frame from pandas ai so what is smart data frame so smart data frame is has all the capabilities of our pandas data frame with the additional text capabilities or additional conversational capabilities right just as you talk to your friend right you can ask your friend certain questions and your friend might do certain computation on their behalf and give you the result Similarly, you ask some questions based on the data frame that you have and this smart data frame will generate the output for you. Okay. So let us see how this works. So first of all, we create a data frame. We are creating a dummy data frame here. With this data frame, we are using the open AI library, open AI framework. Okay. We are going to utilize the LLM based on open AI. I personally went ahead and experimented with open source libraries involving Hugging Face that were given in the documentation here as well as the other libraries that are available in the Hugging Face hub. I'll share my results with you. But what I personally felt that the results currently with this library, which is still under development, are better with the proprietary models such as OpenAI as compared with the open source models. So, the res so there are enormous possibilities since it is currently under development but the current status is that the open source models for this particular library does not work very well okay there is a ticket raised to which uh, I'll, I'll show the ticket right the ticket has been taken into consideration in order to work ahead and make it more robust so here they are using open ai library and the open ai take api token so for with open ai as well you can get a a free tier of around five dollars that you can utilize when you go to open ai website let me show you open ai if you open open ai log in head over to the api section in the personal section you will find api keys right so there you can create your new secret key your api token it will give you a five dollar uh, credit right you can utilize that in order to play around okay if you want to go to the paid version you can very well do so that's your choice okay 
now you see we created an API API token what we are doing is we on top of the data frame that we generated we are creating a smart data frame and in the config parameter we are passing our LLM there are additional options in our config which we will just see right we, here we are creating an we are we are passing an LLM to our config and we are calling this df.chat which are the five happiest countries so it will internally perform a computation and based on the computation it will return you the corresponding outputs and this output has been verified to be correct okay now let us quickly see the config options towards the end of this video i'll also share the results that i got with various llms open source as well as proprietary frameworks as well as here you can you would be able to see the code output right it it enables you to visualize what the code gen was generated in the backend i'll show you that don't worry let us head over to the config now so under the config you will find multiple options the llm which llm do you want to use there are currently limited number of llms that has been provided as part of this library there is a bypass to that when you use langchain using langchain you can use additional llms as well right i'll show that as well there are other options such as save logs if you want to save your logs it will by default save it to pandas ai.log file you can uh, if you want to print the logs in the console then you can use the verbose option enforce privacy this is relating to some privacy concerns if you do not want to pass certain data over the api server then you can use this just head over to this documentation and read it it is very simple to understand and you will know a lot more things what what is the primary objective of this video is in order to introduce you to this very interesting library which you can go around and play with and experiment in your tools that you're building, right? Perhaps it might happen that currently you're not getting as desired results as you would expect, but over the down, over the time, right? As, as and when it develops further, you would be utilize, you would be able to utilize it for a lot more capabilities and build extensive tools using it. So that is why it is always good to know about these libraries. Max retries the number of tries you want to you want the model to make and all, all these things. Okay, now let us see some of the LLM models that are currently supported. Okay, so here we will have this section where the list of supported open AI model. There is an open AI model that is supported. Then there are hugging face models. So currently there are two models that are supported from the hugging face open source hub. That is this big code star coder and Falcon Tai US 7B instruct. Okay, so I experimented with both these models. As I said, I, I, in a meanwhile, we'll go ahead and look at the results using these models. So my personal experience hasn't been very good when using open source models. I used OpenAI model as well. So, and the results with OpenAI models is quite satisfactory, right? Okay. There is a Google Palm model that is also supported, Google Vertex AI. So these are proprietary models, right? These are not free to use. You need to create API tokens. You might get a certain limit of those API tokens and use it for a limited duration. But as and when you want to use more, you need to pay a certain fee, right? Based on the use. Okay. Now let us also look at the land chain options. Okay. This, this was using the LLMs that we were, that were supported. Now using the land chain option, you can import additional libraries. Here they haven't provided a clear documentation based on Langchain. I'll show an example. Let me head over to my code section. Okay. So we understood what Pandas AI is. Pandas AI is basically a wrapper that is built on top of our very own Pandas library and is introducing the generative AI capabilities to our Pandas library. Okay. So we are installing Pandas AI, hugging face up. I also installed Pandas AI C1 with dependencies. Currently, I'm not using it here. So this is, and this is the current challenge that we are facing. Hugging face is not working appropriately with Pandas AI. Someone has already raised an issue. It has been taken into consideration, but we'll see how things goes, okay? So I am just importing these libraries, Pandas AI, P Pandas, c from Pandas to AI.LLM, the star coder and Falcon and Pandas AI, we are importing smart data frame. I'm setting the hugging face API token just as we did in our earlier videos. Then I'm creating two LLM objects. One is the star coder, other is the Falcon. Now here we are using our 
smart data frame. Let me remove this line, it's not needed. So I'm creating a smart data frame based on the sample data frame that I created above. Let me show the sample data frame. Yes, this is a sample data frame that I generated. This is a, a very simple data frame, you can use any, right? I'm passing my LLM one, which is a star coder LLM. And using this LLM, I'm trying to compute. You see, I call dfs.chat compute the following, how many countries are available in the data frame. So what this is returning, remember this is an open source model that we are talking about currently. So this is returning the have average happiness index is 6.84. This is nowhere relevant. When I dive deeper into what code is actually being generated, you see the code that is being generated is a pseudo code, right? This is a pseudo code that is being generated and at the end of the pseudo code, it is simply returning a value. So a result is not satisfactory at all here with these open source models, right? I, I tried with both of them. You can go ahead and try with the same and share the results in the comments. So for us to know how things are going for you, right? This is another example where it is returning the average loan amount is 15,000. So, so you see these, these results are not relevant when using open source models. Let me quickly head over and show you an open AI based model using which we generated the results. So here I'm using my open AI token. Again, I've created this data frame. Okay. I'm passing my open LLM. This is my data frame that is there currently. I'm asking questions. How many columns are in the data frame? So you see there are seven columns that are in the data frame. Okay. It is able to correctly answer this. Next, I also asked what is the median total bill for the various sex. So it is able to accurately compute the median for each of the genders that are provided. Okay. And this is correct. This result has been verified. I further asked to compare the sex based on tip, use mean and median values. So it's separately computed based on mean, separately computed based on median. So you see the results with open AI based model is far better as compared to the result with open source models such as hugging face. Okay. So you can yourself go ahead and play around. All I wanted you was to introduce this particular library to you to help you understand what things are going on in the data science industry, what advancements are being taken. There is another very interesting concept that I would like to talk about perhaps in another video that is known as So that concept is known as auto GPT. So remember the mo Rajinikanth's movie robot, how a robot, is, how the robot itself created other robots and programmed them. That, that is something similar, but on a smaller scale, we'll see how that works. I'll probably introduce to you in the, in, in the next few videos. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in that particular video, right? Auto GPT, comment auto GPT below if you're interested in learning more about it. With this, thank you for watching this lecture. If you liked it, make sure to give us a thumbs up. See you in the next lecture. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Jai